Hi, I'm Tracy Granzik here on behalf of Health Data Management, and I'm talking with Jim Forrester, who's the Director of Imaging Informatics at the University of Rochester. We're talking here at RSNA in Chicago in 2015. So I understand University of Rochester is using um, a vendor neutral archive or a VNA. Um, can you talk about how this strategy has worked within your organization and why you're using it? The decision was based on a design where the VNA would become the foundation of an enterprise imaging model, a model where we would think about patient-centered imaging, so and meaning that we could look at healthcare providers could look at images uh, for uh, for the across the patient spectrum of, of healthcare. So what, regardless if the images came from OBGYN, from radiology, from cardiology, etc. And also, uh, we thought that there was a tremendous amount of flexibility and opportunity. My my uh, chair and uh, chief imaging informatics officer David uh, Waldman saw the opportunity that a VNA would provide in the future. Four years later, looking back, it was just it was a great, a great decision to have made. So, how does that differ from past approaches? What was going on in the? What it does is uh, it deconstructs the PAX environment. So we have we have the archive and the vendor neutral archive, and it's the function it provides. We have a workflow manager. We have diagnostic viewer, and it gives us the ability to bring in all of imaging, but allow the individual clinical practices to be autonomous and independent. So in other words, perinatologists can use the tool set that they prefer to use or uh, you know, that's more efficient for them to read maternal fetal medicine ultrasound. Whereas our radiologists can read diagnostic ultrasound in their tool and our cardiologists can read echocardiography ultrasound in their tool. But all of those images come into a single repository and are made available to the entire um, healthcare delivery organization. They're not. They're no longer sequestered. They're they're made available to everyone through the EMR. And so, what related improvements and results have you seen? Well, the first is the access. Right. That that any provider can can open up the viewer and the, the enterprise viewer and view all of the images across across the spectrum. So it's very interesting and very neat to walk into the reading room and see a, uh, a thoracic radiologist reading a, an echo CT, but also looking at the, uh, or sorry, a cardiac CT, but looking at the echo ultrasound at the same time. Historically, that there's been a division there between radiology and cardiology. So the access and the impact that that has on, on patient care is, is number one. Uh, number two, a, a lot of financial uh, improvement in efficiencies. So the, um, the VNA is, is neutral for the viewer as well as for storage. And by being neutral on the viewer, we can negotiate and leverage with our vendors and have seen significant cost reduction there. On the storage side, the archive is neutral with, with regards to storage. And so we've reduced our cost for storing medical images by 50%, 54% in the first two years of the clinical implementation. So what advice would you give other organizations looking to implement the same technology then? When we talk about VNA, Vendor Neutral Archive, there's often a connotation that it's just an archive, but it's so much more than that. Um, when What we think about at University of Rochester, it's an archive, it's a DICOM routing tier, and it, it's a migration tool set. So it allows us to do very powerful things. That routing tier is the equivalent of an interface engine in HL7. It allows us to provide business continuity, to deal with demographic uh, data matching issues and things of that nature. The migration tool set, again, allows us, as, as consolidation occurs in the country right now, more and more healthcare organizations consolidate. You end up with um, small, PACS environments that need to be migrated into the bigger uh, archive. And the other thing that I would say is really think about neutrality. So number one, uh, it's not just viewer neutral, it's also storage neutral. So think about that. But also think about on the viewer neutrality, if, if you're in negotiations with a PACS vendor and a viewer you really should stop and think about the relationship there too. Um, how neutral is it? Is I guess what I'm what I'm getting at. Uh, really be, be sure that the VNA is truly neutral. You're not tying yourself to a specific viewer 
um, or a specific product line uh, because otherwise you lose flexibility with regards to design and you lose leverage.